In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use mesh post to absolutely move the ball up and down the field with ease in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I wanna encourage you right now to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Um, it's completely free to subscribe. And if you wanna know whenever we release a new video, go ahead and hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. That will let you know, basically to allow YouTube to tell you, hey, Cody released a new video. Here's the link for you to go check it out. So uh, anyways, we're taking a look today at the mesh post. Now, if you don't already know, I really Released a full ebook on the New York Jets offensive playbook, um, specifically focusing in on the Gun Bunch offense. And so, if you want to get the full Gun Bunch ebook, it's only $15 and it's on sale right now. There's a link in the description for you to be able to pick it up. Now, the play we're going to be breaking down today um, is this mesh post. We're going to break down a very interesting, a little bit of a different, unique way to run this. And what we're going to do is we are simply going to put the running back on an in route. We're gonna put the tight end on a drag, so our mesh is now gonna be between the tight end and it's gonna be between um, the the triangle receiver here, which is the running back. So the X is going on a, dra a drag, the running back is going on an in route, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the square wide receiver, which in this scenario will be Marcus Valdez Scantling, and we're gonna put him onto a fade route, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the R1 receiver, which is Devonte Adams, and we're gonna put him on a flat route. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to motion out the circle receiver and snap him at the numbers. You see this is the combination that we've created. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to read our little underneath mesh route. Now, this running back route is one of my favorite routes in the game. It's, it's automatic. It is something that is so simple but so effective in this game. I cannot tell you how good this route is. You just have to try it yourself. If you get a nice little rack animation, this thing has gone for touchdowns for me, but it's the simplest route in the world and it gets about 15 it gets about 5 to 15 yards pretty much every single time now um, the reason we use the fade on the back side here is because it's going to open up a lot of room and space for this uh, tight end to be able to come across the field against man coverage this is probably my favorite way to run this against man coverage because the tight end drag will get open the fade is really good because what a lot of people like to do is they'll put these purple zones out there right they're gonna put these underneath zones out there to try to stop crossing routes to try to try to stop um, you know different things maybe some playmaker routes whatever what you're gonna notice here though is that square receiver he's not always gonna win like right here I don't think he's gonna win here but there are times, especially in Mutt, if you have good release on your guys, um, there is going to be opportunity for him to basically win in man coverage. So essentially what you're doing is, is real quick, you're looking there, does he win? Okay, he doesn't win. Um, and, and then I think I actually accidentally forgot to put him on the fade right there. But that's really what we're looking at. We'll show you, we'll show you why this is a very powerful play. Uh, against zone here in just a second, but I wanted to sit on man coverage for a couple more reps here Just wanted to show you one other thing. So again, here's your setup You're motioning this guy out to the numbers and snapping and then as you'll see here This is almost always able to be low balled over the middle. Okay, so it's just we're basically what we're doing If you actually look at the routes is we're clearing out a significant amount of space over the middle of the field for that circle receiver to be able to work and have a lot of opportunity against this as you can see right there just easy reads easy automatic layups against man-to-man -man coverage now again i did want to hit on just briefly here if they run um if they run press man coverage you always want to be peeking to see if that fade route does win um, sometimes he will sometimes he won't but as you'll see right here, just try to get your swerve catch on. It didn't work that time, but I'm telling you, over time, it will work. You will be able to win the press. It just doesn't happen every time, okay? But it will happen over time, um, especially if they go, if they're running some match coverage. Um, this is a great a great play com a, a route combination to use against match coverage. Um, match coverage, and the reason why is because Oftentimes, number one, these underneath routes are going to be really, really effective, but also that fade on the outside will be uh, will be really good as well. And as you can see here, you just check down your running back if you don't like anything. 
Now let's talk about zone coverage, and this is even better than zone coverage, um, because we're clearing out so much space over the middle of the field. So um, let's say that they run Mabel coverage on you. That's why I really like this um, this combination right here. Um, this running back route just kills Mabel coverage. You just throw it right there, and then you're just cutting up field for about 10 to 15 yards. A pop, you know, just easily cutting up field quick. Um, and, and, and the reason why that's so good is because it's going to really do a good job at forcing their user to have to come down over the middle of the field and actually make something happen. Now your tight end route is, it's okay against zone, um, especially, you know, hard flats. You just want to throw it quick. You have to throw that tight end route quick. Now the one thing I will go ahead and get out of my, get out of the way is it's very likely that they're going to be using the middle of the field. And so I wouldn't recommend you know, like if you're if, if their user standing right here and he runs over here, that's one thing. But if you're if their user kind of sits in this area right here, I wouldn't throw that tight end route. I would let it go, um, you know, and just and just move on to the next read, which is more than likely your running back. Now, uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is the post route, and this is really the money route on this play. Um, is this post shots table on Austin. There's several ways at which you can throw this. So you'll see here all the space that he's going to be created and you can low ball it right over the middle. Very easy, um, very easy read over the middle. And the next thing that I want to show you is a late progression. And this is more for, uh, in particular, uh, it's more for Tampa too, honestly. Um, but it does apply to, it does apply to like cover three Mabel. So I just want you to watch um, this route. Again, we're just motion stepping just a little bit. Watch that fade clear the zones. You'll see it's going to clear, 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 clear. And of course, I, I got under pressure and accurate. But um, that that is a late read. It's, it's more for you know a two man rush you know if they're taken away and this is really for something like exactly what you're seeing right here where they're literally dropping a lot of people in coverage um this this play is going to be phenomenal for that so again you just just a little baby motion right there you don't have to get him all the way outside here but what you're going to see is look at all that space right in behind that zone drop that's a 30 yard or 25 yard flat zone but that's getting them that that's getting over it'll get over 30 yard flat, flat zones as well now if you know that they're not running man coverage um then you might not want to put the post on on a motion snap you might just want to leave him as is um you know you might just want to literally just go uh just quick you know quick movement here but not even motion him at all if you don't motion him at all he is going to run a little bit better on this sideline as you see right there he runs all the way over but as you can see the time, um, the time allotment is a little bit of the issue. Now, one other thing that I haven't hit on a ton, on a bunch, um, is the spacing idea. So, for example, what you could also do with this play, just so you know, is I could put the R1 on a flat, put the X on a drag streak, and then do you know do my setup here. But I'm going to motion him. In this case, I'm going to motion him all the way out here. So you see how far he is outside. Now he's got a lot of room. He's got a lot more room over the middle of the field. So where you snap him is just a matter of what room you know does he have. But this play is, I mean, this play is great. I mean, it really is. Like it's it's if it, depending on if they set zone drops or not, um, this is this is a phenomenal little play uh, design that is going to be very effective. Now I haven't talked a lot about match coverage, um, just because if you're running match coverage, the defense principles do work a little bit differently than if you're running just a standard defense, of course. So you're going to have to beat it a little bit differently than you would, you know, something else. But if they do run match, I just want to show you real quickly what a match defense would look like, you know, against this play. And the biggest thing I do is I want you to watch that square receiver. So what you'll see is that square receiver will almost always, if they press out a match, that square receiver will almost always get an outside release and typically will beat him uh, in a one-on-one -on -one situation. I'm telling you right now, like we're talking about 80% of the time, um, that that corner will not be able to, to hang with him over the middle of the field. Now you do have that nice little low ball still to that post thread, as you can see. Um, it does get cross man, but it is able to um, easily, easily beat that. And then the last thing I did want to hit on is the, the, the crossers. So the beauty of this double crossers here um, is you just have this, you just pop right in and go for a couple yards. So that's mesh post with the um, 
mesh post with the fade on the left side a great way to run this play so thanks for watching this video if you want to get the full ebook it's of only 15 bucks and it's available for you in the description of this video thanks for your time hope you enjoyed the videos if you have any questions you can always text me my number is 208 218 6900